morning we're going to horse camp. And you guys might get to see Sparky. All right, you guys. So Gabby did get footage of horse camp. Whoa. Video. She just didn't tell me. She didn't get footage of her riding her horse. But today, the goal is to, what's the goal? Yeah, so a I little three-year-old girl rolled her eyes at Gabby. And Gabby was shocked the little three-year-old would have attitude. Oh, yeah. It's three feet, and Shayla and Molly have a different way of jumping. <laughs> that was good. Anyways, um, today... Gabby's gonna try and get footage of her riding. Are you gonna, can you video Sophie riding, jumping? I was jumping with them. And I was oh. the only one jumping separately while they were in the middle. Oh, all right, well we're gonna get whatever footage. I'll try and get Fiona. All right, give Fiona your oh, well, phone. Here's the, phone. here's the oxer. Yeah, wow. well, tell her to video it on her phone. And send it to me? Yeah. All right, ask her. All right, let's go, let's go to horse camp. This is satisfying, guys. So nice. Sophie and her slime. It's soap. I want to do a show. Like, I am doing a show by the end of this season. By the end of September, Laura's going to have a show on Stella. I am so excited for it. And today, I put on my riding pants. I did my riding hair. And I was going to go out there and ride Stella as soon as we get back. But Sam tells me now that he has a doctor's appointment. And it's closer to where the riding barn is. So we, I have to go. I have to go with him. And it's too hot to run later. So, or it's too hot to ride later in the day. And he says it's going to rain. So I changed out of my riding breeches. But by the end of this week, I'm going to be out there riding Stella, getting ready for our show because it's really hot and with all the like heat this summer, um, I'm not going to get very many lessons and I have to get ready so I'm going to have to do it on my own first thing in the morning before it gets too hot. Gabby found a fishing stick, it's pulling out of the water. Big flagpole. Good morning, guys. It is Wednesday morning. We're off to horse camp, but we are way too early and we found this awesome little stream. And I guess this is usually full of water when it's high tide, I guess, when too much water comes, but right now it's empty. We're gonna go check out the water. Oh, is that a carry? Maybe. Look here. Sketchy. This um, moss when it's wet. And now it's all dried. It's dried moss. Come on. It's like uh, Vanderwater Park. So oh. there's snakes? It's not that bad. It's not that bad? Is it warm? Oh. Found a frog. In here. Yeah, of course. There's everything yeah, living in here. Scary. Found some frogs. A snake! A snake! What? <laughs> Couldn't it's trick you. That's not a snake. Okay, let's go check out the water. There's a lot of Alright, you could go swim in here. Yeah. Look at that. We need to go swimming. Dad, touch it. No water going. There's snakes. I'm going on the rocks. I'm going on the rocks instead. Used to be a, that used to be an old wood processing mill, I guess, because they have a mill on the other side, a more modern one. Anyway, this is a neat little spot, but I think we're gonna be late now if I stay. Magnet fishing? Yeah. <laughs> Want to do magnet fishing here one day? Our rocks will get caught. <laughs> Looking horses in camp. Yeah, it's pouring rain. Pouring rain no, in horse camp. Yeah. 
You guys are gonna be having to clean up these pouring yes, wet horses. Yeah, he was so dirty yesterday. Was he? Yes. Do you have to feed the horses? Not today. We have to feed. What did you today? Some of them are hay and we have to muck up. And muck up It's like home. I can't believe it's horse camp. Finally we get rain and it's horse camp. But thank God it missed the horse shows. Put your phone away. Time for camp. 9 a.m. All right, kids are at camp. Now the parents can play. Well, the kids are away, the parents can play, which means Sam's gonna go to the doctor and I am gonna get my shop on. The world is ending. <laughs> the world is ending. Basically, we went to two Tim Hortons to get coffee since we dropped the girls off and both of them, the internet, the Interac is down and we have no cash. So, either, so Sam's gonna go to the bank and try and get cash out and if the cash machine doesn't work, that means that the world is ending. But if you guys thought about it, like if, the internet went down, like seriously went down for any length of time, everything would stop because how would we ever get our money? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, well yeah, I guess you could use tellers still, but yeah, yeah. Crazy if we ever had to go back to just using cash. Oh yay. You got money? the only thing that I do when the kids go to camp is clean. I've been cleaning the house all day and now it's time to go and pick up the kids already. Plus we're gonna stop and get something for supper. Today I'm thinking like, oh my gosh, there, I feel like there's something I'm supposed to be doing. Like, what the heck am I supposed to be doing? And then I realize I have like a lot of videos that I wanna shoot, sit down videos that I haven't shot yet. So that is gonna be a tomorrow thing. Camp is essentially like, riding lessons on the steroids. They basically spend an hour and a half riding instead of 30 minutes and they learn so much. They push all the limits, all the limits. And then on Friday, they have a show. So we have two more days and then we're gonna go there and you guys are gonna get to see what they've been working on. So even though they don't usually get a lot of footage, they, do you think they got footage today, Sam? No. <laughs> no, neither do I. And I don't blame them because when you're at camp, you gotta have fun. That's what it's all about. We are real how was camp? We had to wait pile on and carry a cup of water. Yeah. Like there was a bucket mm -hmm. and then there was a cup of water in there. Mm -hmm. and we were on teams and um, we had to run we through the pylons to get to the other bucket and pour it in. The cups have holes in the bottom so we had to run as fast as we could. And we win because... You yeah. won? Yeah, our team won. Who was on your team? Um, I don't know every name. But Chloe, Chloe, Shayla, and other people. There was a kid that did not want to do anything. Oh my gosh. So and she was out of our team, I guess. Is her name Sophie? No. <laughs> oh. No, Sophie likes the to do stuff. I'm sweaty. Okay, so here's the real question. Mom, feel me, I'm so sweaty. Okay, so here's... Oh my gosh. So here's the real question. Everybody wants to know, how high did you jump today? Um, Maybe two feet? I don't know. Maybe two feet? I was scared. So I uh, swerved around the um, jump twice. It was a vertical diagonal. And then Sparky, at the last minute, he's like, swerve, we're going over this. So you tried to swerve him away and then he swerved you yep. to it? <laughs> he's like, we're, we're, we're jumping. That's good. And then you did it? Yeah. And then you did it every time after? Um, so I didn't want to jump an oxer. Everyone else was jumping an oxer. And so did you jump the oxer? <laughs> no, Fiona said that I think this jump was two feet. Fiona said that if I don't want to jump the oxer, then she can take the the small rail off and I just jump the high one. Which the high one was like two feet or something or maybe Did you two jump the high feet? one? Yeah. And? Did you like it? I swerved and then it I just let him do his job the next time. And then he did it. And then he's like, we're taking a long. So he took longs to most of them. Sometimes I cannot stop him. Like when we're going to his cross rail, I, like we were cantering at it. I was trying to hold him back a bit so he'd go slower and he's like, boom. Like we're going over this. He wants to jump. He, he just makes me jump it. That's good. He doesn't care about me. Would you be scared to do that jump again tomorrow? Yeah, because I know what he does. So I can't believe that that happened. 
Sophie's riding her horse. She refused to jump two times, and then finally the horse, she tried to... Bye, lady. Bye. Well, two or three. She she refused to jump two times and then finally she went to refuse it the third time and the horse said too bad for you We're jumping. So Sophie wants us to see the horse. She's been riding Sparky Sparky is it that one that's staring at us? That's Storm's brother. See with the white stripe Sparky Sparky that big huge. Oh my gosh the one right beside Storm's brother That big gorgeous one that just scared off the others. Yep. I love him they're all like, are you coming to feed me? Come on, bud. So that's Sparky right there. Sparky. King of the... Right there. Come on, Not the one in front there. Let's get together. Did you go to camp today? Yeah. Was it good? I rode Coco. How high did you jump? Two, three. Yeah, you know, I really today and I almost fell. I was on like the side of her. No, and you oh, pulled yourself back up? First, first she went like this on the side and then she went to the other side. And her foot went over her back so we could see her foot from the other side. And then you scooped yourself back up? Good oh, yeah. job. We were all like, oh, she's going to stay on. And then she fell through the other side and we we're like, she's not going to stay on. And then she did. Sam just killed another bird. I just not, do not know if my heart can take the stress of you killing another bird. Like there's a sign about birds. God is giving me a sign about birds dying. That is so scary to me. Now I gotta look up what does it mean when a lot of birds die. First the baby bird died, then he killed a bird, it died, and now he just killed another bird. That's three birds. Whenever I notice something and feel like it might and be, feel like it might be a sign, I always watch for three. If I get three of the same sign, then I take it seriously. That is the third sign. Okay, this is what it means. The meaning of a dead bird is not necessarily a disappointment or a misfortune. It means the end of something and the beginning of something new. So, so yeah, like something's gonna end and then we're gonna be, we're gonna do something new. Yeah, so Sam, from now on, slow down. If you see a bird in the road, slow down. I literally love the smell of this little barn and this little girl. Hi, Finn. Some of you guys, okay, so listen to this story. Oh, you guys are so cute. I love their colors together. Yeah, it's so good. So anyways, listen to this story. So when I was at the show and uh, Gabby was going around in the hack, which is, um, oh my goodness, she's so pretty. Which is the division that Gabby showed Finn. And he's kind of like more crazy in that division. And every time he'd come around, he would lock eyes with me. He would like, his eyeball would be staring in my eyeball. And I'd be like, and he would go like this. As soon as he saw me, I swear, he would relax so much. And then I didn't say anything at the show. I almost said, Fiona, did you guys, did you just see that? Like he does that, like that's how close he is to me. And I didn't say it. And then a lot of you guys saw it on the video and commented about it and that made me so happy because literally I've never had a bond with a horse before, even though I try. I look at Stella and I'm like, Stella! And she's like, ew, like she doesn't love me, but she's loving me today. Holy cow, they drank all their water. And how, where did that come from? Did you guys see that? I lifted the, this and Stella's tail just flew out of the sky. No, 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 no. I, I put it on your shoulder. Oh, <laughs> Gabby put it on my shoulder. Where did it come from? Tail. Where? This thing? See, he finds whatever he can and scratches his butt on it and rips out his tail all the time. I have Finn, you have, no, he doesn't have any bugs. It's because you don't clean his butt. When's the last time you cleaned his butt? I do clean his butt. That's why he loves me. Didn't you know bonding with your horses is about how often you clean their butt? No, they only like you for a day. Yeah, they only like you for the day that their butt is clean. You hear that, Storm? She's traded you in for a, a younger, for a no. shorter. She's traded you in for a shorter model. No. No. For a speedy pony. For a speedy pony. I thought Gabby was going to say I would never trade in my horse, but she traded you in for a speedy model. I feel like Gabby's getting the need for a faster horse. Are you getting the need for a faster horse? Would you want a pony? You're going to outgrow a pony really fast. I don't care. I like ponies. I like ponies. Do you like ponies? Yeah. Yeah, look at that hugging pony. 
He helps. he knows. Like I feel like he hardly was was handled before I because know. literally you know, know, the more he knows, like the more he uh, expects. Like he knows what, what this is and he understands it now. So he just puts his head right in it. Like he just he just does it. He's like, here, have it. Yeah. So we're not gonna ride today, but I'm gonna ride tomorrow. Like no joke. Tomorrow I'm riding. Tomorrow I'm dropping these girls off and I'm coming home and I'm gonna tack up my own horse and I'm gonna ride her by myself with Sam. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. It's scary for me. You guys do not understand how much it takes for me to like actually do it. But I want to do it because I want to show her so bad. We literally just cleaned the the horse poop. We mucked the fields and stuff. Holy cow! Literally. In the heat, you can barely do it. I don't even know how these kids handled horse camp and then having to come home and do chores, but that's what happens when you have horses. Life continues on, even in the extreme weather.